from FAR Frameworks. And today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the butt checker. Now it's important to note, this is not for checking human butts. There's even a warning on the back of the tool about this. Instead, this tool is actually used to check bicycle tubing butts. So let's dive right in and take a look. Now before we can check butts with this thing, there is a little bit of pre-assembly required. Depending on what configuration you've ordered, it either comes with or without the dial. It uses a standard 3 8 inch diameter quill dial. A half inch travel works best, although you can use the 1 inch, but it does look a little goofy with this thing coming out the top. To assemble the two pieces together, it's very simple. You need one tool, a 4 millimeter Allen key. You take the dial and the butt checker body, you would slide the dial into the body like so until it's about one eighth or one quarter of an inch off the butt checker body there. Then you take that hex key and just tighten this bolt down just until it's snug. It doesn't need to be too tight just so that the dial doesn't rotate anymore. And there you have it. We're ready to go check some butts. Now the butt checker works best if it's held in a fixed and rigid position. The best way to do that is to actually clamp it in a bench vise like the one you see here. It's equipped with two plates that make this very obvious where this needs to happen. First, by the fact that they're brass, and second, that get a grip is inscribed into their surfaces. You place those two plates in between the jaws of the vise and you clamp down. Now you want to get this kind of tight so that it gives that stable reference surface that we were talking about. Now we're ready to bring in some tubes. Let's pause for a moment and actually talk about what we're trying to do here. Modern bicycle tubing is butted. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means the tube is thicker at the ends than it is in the middle. Now, why would it be that way? Well, by keeping the tube thickness at the ends, we can ensure the structural rigidity where it matters most, at the joints of the frame. By reducing the thickness in the middle of each tube, we reduce the weight of each tube and the weight of the overall frame. Now the problem is these transitions happen internal, inside of the tube. That's where the butt checker helps. It can help identify those transitions where the tube goes from thick to thin so that when we cut our miter joints, we are for sure cutting in the thick section of the tube. So let's go see how the butt checker works. So now let's use the tool to find the butts on this particular tube. I bought this tube from a company called Bike Fab Supply. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can check them out. I use a sharpie for this step so that I can mark the transitions on the outside of the tube to reference them later. Now you want to take the tube and slide it onto the tool. It'll take a little bit of force to get it to jump the dial initially, but once you're in it actually moves quite easily. Now it's important to note that this is a reference only tool. That means we're looking for just the delta, and that also means that these values initially don't really mean anything. But I still like to move these down so that I have some frame of reference to where I started. Now with the tube parallel as possible to the tool, you're going to want to slide it in slowly. Remember, we're looking for big changes on the dial. Like that one there. We found the butt. Now we want to mark the beginning of the butt and the end of the butt. So I usually go back and forth a few times to find out where that is. And then I mark the beginning and the end. Now that we've found that butt, let's flip the tube around and find the other one. Again, the, this tube is butted equally on both sides, so the reference should be about the same. I'll just slide it in slowly, and you can see we've got the transition there. So let's mark it at the beginning. Let's mark it at the end. Great, there you go. We found the butts on this particular tube. Now hopefully this was helpful and maybe a little informative. If you have any questions at any time, please reach out at hello at farframeworks.com. You can also visit my website to see the butt checker as well as the other tools I provide. I'll link it in the description below. Thanks again.